Chief Minister Nong Tumabirin says errors in state socio-economic survey 2011 census hindered developmental undertakings. Twenty-seventh Imphal Book Fair 2018 kicks off at Thangmai Ban Thao Ground. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar asserts source of human resource is education. BJP spokesperson S. Rajan declares three-day statewide celebration in all BJP units and muddles over elimination of Congress rule from North East states. Ms. Krenz vandalized worker board office at Hatta Minutong this morning. Muslim women hustlers of the board verbally harassed. CAF and PD Minister Karam Sham opens the third National Jeet Kundo Championship 2018 at Kumar Lampang Indoor Stadium. And Neroka FC beats Churchill Brothers to one in a home match of the 12th edition Hero I League at Kumar Lampang Main Stadium. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rusham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. The combined Chief Minister's People's Day and Hills Leaders' Day was held at Chief Minister's Secretariat today. Inhabitants of both the hills and the valley came to address their grievances to Chief Minister Nong Thongbom Birin since early this morning. Over 400 issues were raised on the occasion. Speaking to media, Chief Minister Nong Tomobiren stated that misleading information in Manipur's socio-economic survey of 2011 census report hindered various developmental undertakings of the state. He said that the government is trying to rectify those errors. Biren warned of legal actions against those responsible for the wrong report. The Chief Minister expressed surprise that a PIL was filed in the High Court of Manipur against holding People's Day and Hills Leaders' Day. He appeals not to play petty politics in social welfare matters. Responding to Impact News queries on the ongoing cease work strike called by senior resident doctors of Jenims, Chief Minister N. Biren assured that the government is considering their demand and appeals to the doctors to withdraw the strike to ease patients in the hospital. Essential service ki manung san bani. Ado ay appeal tau ningi madu grievances problem ay apuna maloy na wali sara ka meeting tau raga khanda raga loy tau bunga atani. Ay yaba po tadi ko maina tau ningi ado ka yaba po tadi strike lag tau rosu yaba po tadi madhi yaba bunga mo. Niyom na yaba po rule na yaba po tadi madhi yaba bunga mo yung ado ka strike tau gera kay tau gera ado ka niyom na yaba po tadi strike tau gera kay ngay bay matuk tade. Kray kray tadi kamay na ako mo dito wadi yena na tau buduna mani na ko ado na. Niom na yaya na kalaga di strike tau buda yaya do niom na yaya do pota strike tau buda diya do madi tau haning. The 27th Imphal Book Fair 2018 kicked off at Thangmai Ban Thao Ground today. Over 150 book stalls are open in the 10-day book fair jointly organized by State Central Library, the Department of Art and Culture and Raja Ram Mohan Roy Library Foundation, Kolkata. Speaking in the event, Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar asserted that education is the source of human resource which is the biggest wealth. He said, Book fairs do not merely mean showcasing of various books, but it should give zeal to learn and crave for more knowledge among the people. The Deputy Chief Minister stressed the need to publicize the book fair and assure of financial assistance for the same. Education is still relevant, is the most relevant thing 
Quite the give resource in any society life see human resource ni. A do human resource karmaid on a development to take develop to take have take the education is the only means through which human resource can develop. A do not book fair sing machine yam the kawai. Book fair see the sumnegi was in the corner. If we are going to just merely look at it as just only display of books published by various publications, a do kato in a yemuta and kamata, that will not be the right. Approach. Speaking the event, CAF and PD Minister Karam Sham said that if the inoperative Manipur Library Act 1988 is fully implemented, it will facilitate people in acquiring knowledge in the state. He assured to pressurize the chief minister and relevant authorities to revive library movement in the state. He expressed disappointment that fewer people attend the book fair in comparison to other entertainment events. Uh, internet e library adu ada karai ga ki ipan manung bodi internet phajana phangdri kitang 10 km 12 13 km haido khaga karai ga internet adi e library kamai na to duino ba sakut pai ba posi la ba kan da yam na ari ba matam ki adi akui na paning ba kan da pa ba ya ba mingon da pira ga suwai ra ga pahan ba ya ba sigi library ki chau ba ihawa ma sakat pagi tangai phata ba laire hai ba simadi akui khudi ma loi na khangi to ba da bo Moment says Sagat Pungam the Snail. And the Masi Sagana Bohonava, Sumba Book Piercina, the Sobomating Ama, Pangani Hibagi Tazo Vadu Tanjari, Aduna Book Pierce, Hena Pangan Kankalakwa, Hena Mai Pakwa, Adi Manipurda, Masina, Manipur in Harur Sinda, Umingi, Wakali, Itil Pibangamba, Adi Melama, Adi Urukudu. The newly elected um, spokesperson of BJP Manipur State Unit, Kam MLA Lamshang S. Rajan, has declared that BJP Manipur State Unit will hold three day long statewide celebrations in all BJP units and mandals over the party's success in, in elimination of uh, Congress from Northeast states. Speaking to media at the MLA's office in New Secretariat today, MLA S. Rajan said that the BJP's campaign to uproot the Congress has become a success in Northeast states. He also mentioned that the recent loss of the BJP in assembly elections will not hamper the party in any significant manner, rather it would pave a greater path for success. The new BJP spokesperson maintained that acceptance of BJP Manipur's former members by the Congress party is no loss for the BJP. He assured that public will witness all the promises of Chief Minister N. Biren led BJP government into actions with the upcoming 2019 Lok Sabha election. <laughs> Yaudraba Sutokraba Makuduga, Chapmane Bataroi, Pibamze Kai Deva, Aduna, Moise Mamangi, Mapan Paringa, Dumda, Makoina, Kongamba, Lauramba, Mayamduda, Magi Mamingi Mamingo, Hanagi Eziti, Midu, Ming Maguldu, Lady Boyingana, Congressna, Harauna Tayamna, Opuni, Aduga, Yenguraka under the Manu Hotong Horaba, a quite Sutokraba Taroi woman. Power Minister Tongam Biswajit has inaugurated a 33 by 11 kV substation at Kasom Kulen in Kamjong district today. The power substation, constructed at a project estimate of 10.42 crore rupees under Manipur State Power Company Limited (MSPCL), will provide 24-hour electricity to 35 villages of Kamjong district. MLA Pungyar Constituency, K. Le Shio, MLA Chingai Constituency, Kashim Vashum, DC Kamjong District Managing Director of MSPCL, and Sarat, and top officials of the company were present in the inauguration. Minuthong Hatta Social Welfare Union, MHSWU, in a press release, appeals to the Department of Minority for undertaking other welfare schemes under Prime Minister's Jan Vikas Karyakaram PMJVK instead of constructing a new market complex in Hatta area owing to space constraints since there are existing market complexes in the area. Women Action for Development WAD organized a one-day police and community interface program on crime against women and children in Manipur at the conference hall of State Guesthouse in Sanjentong today.
Speaking in the event, social scientist Dhanabir Laishram blamed government's wrong recruitment policy for the existing corruption in the police force. Speaking on the topic bridging the gap between police and public, Dhanabir Laishram called on to discontinue practicing the mindset of a police in the colonial era. He stressed the need to regain public trust by maintaining good relation and communication between the police and the public. The social scientists urge all the policemen to work sincerely despite various challenges including political influences and be assured of cooperation from civil society organizations and the public. <laughs> Moirang Khoyol Kaitel Vendor Owners Association has appeals to the relevant authority to evict illegal street vendors <coughs> I beg your pardon, on Moirang Lamkai Road and in front of Moirang Khoyol Market. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Secretary of the Association Lefrakpam Shalki stated that the present vendors at Moirang Koyol Market used to sell at Kaitel Macha alongside Moirang Lamkai Road. However, government demolished Kaitel Macha for road expansion in April this year. She said the government then allotted the vendors space at Moirang Koyol Market. Shalki complained that many street vendors have sprung on Moirang Lamkai Road and in and in front of Koyol Market since then, affecting business of vendors at Koyol Market. She complains that the local MLA and Moirang Municipal Council pay no heed to their grievances. The Vendor Association Secretary urged the relevant authority to tackle the issue at the earliest, a failing which warned of intense agitation. <laughs> My right labor, right labor di my magi ma pam matam nai ko. Adu i matungi na thugai biu. Adu ga akoi manungi kambusing se. Koi on kai chen habis kai chen ohen biu. Masak tak biu. Adu ga akoi mayam se port yom bata na thaga labor manungi development kanusing do. Developing ohen biu ohen laga na akoi mayam se pun na hing minus se. Palau tabi nukte thaga di mayam ki matieng lau rakanda da hunger strike puta ubne. Any akoi akoi bu kanu thug fungsing sang bato sang ni. Some miscreants have vandalized the accountant's office and Chokida's room of Wakaf board in Minutong Hatta, Imphal East this morning. Muslim women hustlers of the board have been allegedly abused verbally by the miscreants. In, uh, Impact News sources said the incident occurred around 10.30 this morning when around 30 individuals came in the office and started vandalizing the office unannounced while two staff were on duty. Computer, printer, furniture and office documents were destroyed in the incident. Office staffs have alleged members of Menuthong Hatta Hafiz Social Welfare Union of perpetrating the incident. Even though the exact reason behind the incident is unknown, staffs suspect that it could be land-related controversy. They strongly condemn the verbal harassment upon the women hostlers. They appeal to the government, the relevant authority and CSOs not to let such incidents occur again. Thank you. Sida koi kon samba fee suba koi student khara lay bani adu da koi na moi na thoga ira koi sida kari gino ay na koi yeng batho bani yeng batho kanda moi na office da mi ani khata lay rame office sige mi ani sida moi na thinda to bosi da koi jo yeng bani koi kis hasing oi bani na kari lay raga na adu moi na adu gumba wahi bata phata ba wahi bata mayama mi sizi na raga moi na thoga yeng khai bata orom bado da koi se kari no yeng jabani adu da moi mayama ma hau raga koi da yeng ay se kari gino ay na ma koi ki yamna hai dimi oi ba ma na ngang oi da ba wahi bata mayama ma koi ngasi sizi na bira me. Masigumba Hidi Wakabot Hariba, Que Hostel say Nupimasa Kaki Oveni, Nupimasa sing lady, but hostel sida sumina to be basako yam no idea ko suki, nupimasa oibanina, Adomatunga, Sigumas Amona took the number, lady but organize and amadi CSO Mayam Sina Hidi government nasing but masi yang san binaba hijaning. Moirang Tem Naucha, Elias Bungo, Elias JB, 23 years, son of M. Bhagachandra from Nacho Mamanglaika in Bishnapur district, who is involved in the FIR. 
number 3011-2018 WPS Bishnupur under section 366. 368 IPC registered at OC Bishnupur Women Police Station on November 16 is untraceable since November 13. Whereabouts about the person may be informed at mobile number 9876950198. Eight nine seven four zero zero four one one two eight seven nine four three eight four eight zero two or nine six one five four seven six six one four. Proscribed Maoist Communist Party Manipur in a press release informed that its general strike called from the midnight of December 16 till the midnight of December 18 in demand for renaming Manipur and the renovation of Mongba, Hanba, Kubam and Kurai Ahongpung has been curtailed to the midnight of December 17 in view of UGC's national eligibility test on December 18. Now moving ahead, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on launching of first emergency portable oxygen cylinder in the state. Keep watching back news. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. CRISPA Healthcare and Consultancy Private Limited has launched a 6-litre capacity emergency portable oxygen cylinder Oxy-99 for the first time in Manipur at City Convention Centre Palace Compound today. The emergency portable oxygen cylinder is a product of an Italy-based company, Boshi. Speaking in the event, Chairman of Healthcare and Consultancy Private Limited, beg your pardon, CRISPA Healthcare and Consultancy Private Limited, Santa no, my theme stated that since oxygen is usually stored in hospitals, many people have died in need of oxygen during mishaps and other emergencies away from hospitals. He said the Oxy-99 introduced in the state in collaboration with South India-based companies is portable and can be used anywhere in times of emergencies to prevent casualty. The chairman said Oxy-99, which costs 600 rupees, will be made available across the state. Oxygen 99, I see Manipur first time. Can uh, anywhere, any place? But Hong Kong, the most popular city. My Kerala, we have oxygen wall up there. I see cancer, diabetes, as well as my ama, we have some da. Thoru we have a lot of my ama things. We have na. Na hangi the we eh doctor da chalaga na ala kanda the yega me. Ado but the main causes is lack of oxygen or up there. Anam lo masi ki problem the thole hai. Ado na doctor sinda di hai. Ado na. Oxygen is a cylinder. In Norman, we have a market season. We have a cylinder. We have a cylinder. But somehow, I can see that this is a small, portable, compact, any place, anywhere. We have a season. Poyla Lekol Farmer Association Hyang Thang sought mustard seeds at various fields lying unutilized for service in Hyang Thang today. Association President Tombi intimated that initiative was carried out under the under NEIDP State Vice President O Malesh for employment generation. He said the mustard will be grown in over 10 hectares of land for the first phase this year. He also intimated that all the produce will be purchased by the NEIDP State yeah. Vice President. <laughs> Uzi Koy Sharagai Tabo Pangdi Basina Ushinbu, Matam Kra Hingaba Amadi, Awar Pasi Mekapinana, Hazuja Kwigi Saraka Parim Minabo, Kwigi, Tawida Batabasi, Kwaya Musna, Mating Pang Viduna Kwigi Hariba, a promises Mating and Pang Viduna, Masi the Mukwe Yamu Tagasari, Hariba Hangu Label Mang Shingbu, uh Mangan Bidraba, Kwayamu Tanbi Yuhaina, uh Kwe Pramas Kalpigi Nishin. Workers of uh, women welfare organization in a press release grieved expressed grief upon the sudden demise of A.K. Memchalema, a former president of Kanglai Park Women Welfare Association, KWWA. The organization held a condolence meet and observed a two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul. 39th Assam Rifles of 28th Sector Assam Rifles under IGAR South organized a mass rally of Assam Rifles ex-servicemen and army widows in Kakching today. Commandant of 28th Sector a Assam Rifles Brigadier Dilesh Bhonot presented gifts to army ex-servicemen and army widows from in and around Kakching on the occasion. The Assam Rifles ex-servicemen, army widows and other surviving family members were provided facility for opening bank accounts and making of Aadhaar card. A free medical camp was also held where free medicines were provided to those in need.
Vishwa Vani Church at Lemram in Bishnupur district held silver jubilee celebrations today. Singing of gospel songs, prayers and other entertainment items marked the celebration. Now the sports news. Calf and PD Minister Karam Sham has kicked off a two-day, the third National Jeet Kundo Championship 2018 at Kumanlampag Indoor Stadium today. Speaking in the event, Minister Karam Sham stated that the first sports university of the country was established in Manipur in acknowledgement of its sports potential. He also urged everyone to exhibit the beautiful mores of the state by treating players coming from outside the state with respect and hospitality. The minister maintained that sports is not just about deciding the winners but also to enhance emotional ties. Minister Karam Sham, MLA Hyanglam, Y. Radesham, social workers K. James and R. K. Kaiku presented financial assistance to organizers of the championship on the occasion. <laughs> Suma may am si Utlaga at the Atopa State Sing the Gi Liber Official Sing Sanaroi Sing Manipur si a Pikpa State Wergasu Yamna Saukatpa Yamna Culture Towa Yamna Civilized Towa People Sing Labor Zagani Hybrid Akwe Kanganje Adu Matunda Sanaboga Luna Lunana Atopa State Singi Mamanga Yamna Sautok Sangai Uiba at the Monkea Utlaga Goa's Churchill Brothers FC, who have never tasted defeat in this 12th edition Hero I League season 2018-19, was overthrown for the first time today by Niroka FC 2-1 in a home match at Kumalampak Main Stadium. For the winners, Japanese midfielder Katsumi Yusa netted two goals at the first and 87th minutes of the match. The lone goal of the losing team was scored by Khalid Ocho at the 37th minute. Neroka FC scoring 14 points from 8 matches has restored its second position in the league's table tally. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nong Tumumbiren says errors in state socio-economic survey 2011 census hindered developmental undertakings. Twenty seventh Imphal Book Fair 2018 kicks off at Thamwe Ban Thao Ground. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar asserts education is the source of human resources. BJP spokesperson S. Rajan declares three-day statewide celebration in all BJP units and mandals over elimination of Congress rule from Northeast states. Ms. Kuren's vandalized work of board office at Hata Minutong this morning. Muslim women hostlers of the board verbally harassed. Kaf and PD Minister Karam Sham opens third National Jit Kundo Championship 2018 at Kumalampak Indoor Stadium. And Niroka FC beats Churchill Brothers 2 1 in a home match of the 12th edition Hero I League at Kumalampak Main Stadium. <laughs>